Welcome back, everybody, to the Marble Sports Games 2020 for the fourth event of the inaugural season, the Gravitrack Slalom. As you can see, two teams will compete at a time going down this slalom track. The crowd pretty excited to watch this event. As we get a look at our track, the test team is going to be acting as the uh, ball bearings to strike the competitors. And you can see Casper and his son, Casper the Second here at the bottom. The official committee here as well. They did not want to miss this event. They are actually volunteering to test out the event for a demonstration, since the test team will be the ball bearings. Here you can see it is a rather quick slalom track. as the test team is going to get us off and it looks like the bottom committee member will win. Stands packed. They are really excited to see this event. And one of the committee members is a Greenies fan. And Casper the second apparently is um has detected a track deficiency in the far lane and is going over to talk with Casper. Um, we will see if anything comes of that. We're going to have a couple runs at least before they can make an official decision. You can see the slaloming view here. Our first two competitors to kick us off will be the Wasps and the Greenies. The Wasps have chosen their captain Sting the Greenies have chosen Greenie. Who will win the first heat? And the test marbles are off. They will hit the Greenies out to a big lead and they will hold it. The Greenies will advance. Let's see what those times are. A 4.25 compared to Sting's 5.44. I believe our next competitors will be Cyrus and Mint Chocolate. Hold, hold on, um, apparently we're getting a call from Team Galactic's managerial office. Cyrus has called out sick and they have instead sent in their captain who cruises across the line for an easy victory over the Minty Maniac. 3.80 to 4.80. However, uh, here, here comes the uh, official verdict from Casper and Casper the Second. They are going to give both the Minty Maniacs and Stingers two extra consolation points for a track defect as they fix that right now. I do believe it has been fixed, so two more extra consolation points will be added to whatever the total points the, uh, the Wasps and uh, Minty Maniacs receive. Our next heat will be the Aquatics and Flamethrowers, two uh, pretty polar opposite elements here. And the Aquatics are going to get out to the lead, the Flamethrowers are going to try and catch up but are not going to be able to. The Aquatics will win the event. A 4.39 to a 5.69 from score, it's not, not a good time there. Team Plasma and the Purple Rockets will be our next two teams. And here is that Plasma, they're pretty even. I think Plasma might have just gotten them. It does appear that Plasma has gotten them, yes. 4.93 to Dwarfs 5.04. And our next heat will be the Sterling Swarm and the Valiant Vanillas. They're off and Sterling Swarm is too Pretty easy victory there for the Sterling Storm. 5.71 from Ice is going to be the worst time yet. As the Time Warpers and True Blue will be the next two teams here. And test marbles are off. And Time Warpers out to the lead, but True Blue is going to fight back. Did they get them? I don't know. True Blue is behind for most of that race, and they did get them! True! 5.10 compared to Black Hole's 5.11. That is a phenomenal comeback from True Blue. Rapidly and Blue Indigo will kick off this seventh heat here. They're off, 
and it looks like a very slow start to rapidly. And that is going to hand Blue Indigo the pretty easy victory. 4.71 to a 5.35. And our final heat will be our hosts, the Blueberry Buttons, sending in their captain against the Glaciers. They have chosen Melanie. And a pretty even fight, but I think the Blueberry Buttons are going to get him in the end. Yes, indeed. The Blueberry Buttons are going to get them. A 4.71 to a 4.91. Not a terrible time for Melanie. As you can see, the eight eliminated marbles there. Our first semi quarterfinal, excuse me, here will be Team Galactic and the Greenies. And the test marbles are off. Galactic is going to be out. Yeah, the, what, what happened in the Greenies lane? They're going to come across the line way after. Did they get, like, hit on the rebound, maybe? I don't know, but that is a very slow tie from the green. 7.54. Cosmo comes across with a 4.97. And the fans are in a bit of disbelief there that the greenies didn't get dislodged. The Aquatics and Team Plasma will be the next quarterfinal. And they are off. And Arth is going to cruise across the line to a pretty easy victory over the Aquatics here. 4.44. Pretty, uh, even number there. 4 is Team Plasma's favorite number. They have finished fourth all three events so far. They are now guaranteed a top four finish again. Uh, Sterling Swarm and True Blue will be our next quarterfinal, and True Blue is going to easily coast to a victory in this one. Yeah. Not out. And apparently Shine did DNF there. Yes, so that will be the first DNF of this event. Hope we do not see more. Blue Indigo and our hosts, the Blueberry Buttons, for the final quarterfinal. And testing the off. And apparently there was interference and um, in the camera, so they were going to skip to the end there and say that Captain Barry did beat Blue Indigo, who DNF'd. See our track here, a rather short slalom here in the Blueberry Bowl. The fans still like it. Arc and Cosmo next. Next marbles are off, and that is a huge lead for Arc, but it's gonna fall apart. Cosmo will take the win and advance to the finals for Team Galactic. And that will be another DNF. And now we've had three DNFs in the quarter and semifinals, but none before. As Barry and True will kick off our second semi-final here. And the test marbles are off, and Barry is going to get out to a pretty significant lead. As I do believe True did not come in after the rebound marble, and will be in that anyway. So Barry and Cosmo, two captains, will be in the final. Ark and True will advance to the third place match. So now, Team Plasma will have a 50% chance to finish 4th for the 4th event in a row. Wouldn't that be a statement? They're True Blue is their competitor. Each team is looking for a bronze medal, which would be their first medal of these games. And Ark is going to get out to a huge lead and will get the 3rd place. True will come in 4th. The Team Plasma's 4th place streak has been snapped, but instead they will get 1 place better, 3rd. 5.51 compared to True's DNF. Now we go to the final. Cosmo and Barry. Our hosts looking for a gold medal, which would be their second medal in two events. Test marbles are off. And Cosmo out to a lead. We'll cruise across the line to a victory and Team Galactic will pick up the gold medal. The blueberry buttons will be happy with the silver. Team Plasma the bronze. A 4.97 here. A really good result from Team Galactic. They were sitting in last place prior to this event. They will stand on top of the podium above the Blueberry Buttons and Team Plasma. Sterling Swarm will still hold the top step of the overall standings. Team Galactic shoots up nine spots. Thank you for watching, everybody. Stay tuned for Collision.